Hello everyone. Long time no anything, but I've got some news to share with you. I've got someone that I'd like you to meet. We had a baby and here he is. This is little baby Gabriel. This is his dad, his name's Ainsley. <laughs> so he's sleeping. You can see the side of his face, look at that little mouth open. Doesn't he look so cute? This is what he does most of the time. We're gonna go and have a proper catch up, but I just wanted to introduce you to him because he's sleeping on daddy and I didn't want to move him. Welcome back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he's saying hi. Okay, I've got the tripod. Let's get you set up properly, shall we? Ooh, okay. Oh, right, does this room look a bit of a mess? I haven't uploaded uh, for about 10 weeks or something like that. No. Well, since the beginning of August. I think it was like the 4th of August, perhaps, was the last time I uploaded. But definitely the beginning of August. And I did actually vlog soon after that but it never made it to the final cut. And yeah, so I have had my baby. Um, well, me and Hainsey's baby. Uh, we had a baby, I had the baby, but we've had a baby. And that is why there has been radio silence on this channel. And the reason it's been from the beginning of August is because he actually came two and a half weeks early and it was completely unexpected. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have known that this has happened. Um, I've had some messages from people on here saying, where are you? Which tells me that you don't follow me on Instagram. Um, so as soon as I had, well not as soon as I had him, but I've been talking on Instagram stories. I've uploaded um, like pictures, not pictures of him, but yeah, that was where I kind of told everyone that that's what had been happening. And I've been much more present on Instagram than on YouTube because obviously YouTube is a lot more effort than Instagram is and when you've just had a baby uh, it doesn't really lend itself to having enough time to do YouTube. He is now almost six weeks old so I feel like we're getting into the swing and I've even been vlogging this week so I feel like I have the capacity now for YouTube. Yeah it's just been a crazy adventure but I now feel a lot more like myself and like I'm coming out of the fog and I can actually focus on other things outside of just feeding and um, feeding him and myself and sleeping. And yeah, I, I feel like I can, I have capacity for external life now. I'm not going to go into my birth story here, but I am happy to share my birth story if that's something that you would all like to, uh, to know about. A few people have asked me on Instagram if I'm gonna share it and I definitely am happy to. It's something that I found very helpful. Um, I didn't actually watch many birth stories on YouTube before I gave birth, but I spoke to friends and was keen to hear their birth stories the closer I got to giving birth because it is really helpful. So yes, I'm happy to share my birth story. It's quite, um, I mean, quite an eventful one and seemingly traumatic, but actually it was a really great experience. So it might put a lot of people's minds at ease if you're nervous about childbirth, but yeah, um, we can go into that when I upload that video. I really didn't expect for him to come early at all. I was fully convinced he was gonna be about a week, two weeks late. Because especially when it's your first pregnancy, that's generally what you expect. Everyone's like, oh, they come late. You'll be pregnant for, you know, you'll feel like you've been pregnant forever and by the time you get to your due date, you'll be like, just get him out. But yeah, he came at 37 weeks and <laughs> Yeah, I went to bed one night, woke up in the middle of the night, waters broke, and there we go. We were in full force. It was just mad. He was a completely different star sign than what we were expecting. And um, I didn't have the cot up. I hadn't packed my hospital bag. I hadn't done anything. <laughs> I was completely unprepared. So yeah, took us by surprise, but we managed. And yeah, I'm so happy. And now I feel really grateful that he came when he did. I'm trying to remember if I've got anything else to say other than, oh my God, we've got a baby. So yes, this is the update. I I, I now come with a child. Uh, as I say, I have been vlogging. Um, I guess maybe I talk about my channel. Um, I, okay, so I'm happy to share Gabriel to an extent. I haven't really shared him on my Instagram 
well okay i'm not going to be sharing pictures of him where you can see his face or him in his entirety especially on instagram just because it's a very dodgy place <laughs> for children especially and i've been tempted to share a proper picture of him on there but there's just something that stops me from doing it and i think it's well, I guess I'm a mother and he's my baby and there's part of me that doesn't want to share because I want to keep him private. Um, part of me is because, you know, consent. He's a baby, he can't consent to me sharing him on social media. And partly protection. Um, I don't have a private profile, so I'm sharing my baby with a, lo a load of strangers, essentially. And even though I have a very safe space I feel like here on YouTube and even on Instagram you still never really know who's going to stumble upon your profile so it's a decision Hainsley and I have both made um, and that's how it's going to be for now so I appreciate that many of you probably will want to see what he looks like but I, I mean apart from the side of his face and things like that I don't know if you will and that's just a decision I really hope that you will respect and I'm sure that you will do so yeah so I'm this isn't I don't know it's very difficult to say I'm not going to become like a mum blogger or like a mum channel or anything but when you have a child it is all consuming and that's all you want to talk about and and but I, I do want to kind of, I want to keep this channel about me <laughs> this sounds so weird even t saying this um, I want to keep this channel as similar to what you guys like in terms of content as possible um, however there is going to be talk of parenting and children to an extent but I I hope it's still very much just me but as a parent and that's kind of how I see it going I have found social media a really nice space to be in since becoming pregnant and talking and having a baby and talking about my experience with that I've connected with so many other pregnant women new mums and it's been it's reminded me why I love social media so if anything that's kind of why I feel compelled to share my journey as a parent as a new mum so it's more me sharing my experience rather than me sharing my baby or this being about my baby i hope that explains it <laughs> i don't know if it does so that's where we are i'm gonna stop this video now because i just feel like i'm not making much sense but it's so nice to be back filming content as i said i've been vlogging this week and that's been so lovely to feel like I wanted to vlog again because for those first few weeks I really felt like I would never want to do anything ever again and it's so nice to start feeling myself and wanting to vlog and make content is is such a part of me now that it really makes me feel like okay I'm back in my I'm back in the right headspace I was going to do all sorts of videos before he came um like my big baby buys talking about my the buggy, the car seat, all those expensive things, newborn essentials, all that stuff I had planned to do and just didn't get around to it because he took us all by such a surprise. But if you want anything surrounding baby, things that I've bought, things that I've used, my thoughts on things that you need, anything, then let me know because uh, I'll be happy to do those kind of videos. I watched so many of them when I was pregnant and I found them really, really helpful in terms of planning what I needed. Um, and now that the baby's here, I can offer a kind of hindsight on what things are worthwhile or what you need to have within the first month or whatever. Join me on Instagram if you haven't and you can see more. I'm talking more on stories on there. I'm really, really enjoying it. So I have changed my name on there, which I'll put down below. I hope you guys are all okay. Sorry, I've just been talking about me. I hope you're all okay. You're all surviving 2020 and you're all in a good place. Um, and yeah, we will speak again soon. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Mwah.